G'day, I'm Eric Schiller and today I want to talk to you a little bit about trailer loading but more so about staying below your horse's threshold. Lately I've been, everything I've been doing, I've been really aware of when those horses go from relaxed to starting to be a little bit concerned and I back off there instead of pushing through it like I may have done in the past. And I'll, I've got an off the track thoroughbred here that sometimes is a little bit snorty about getting in the trailer. So I'll dig him out and show you what I mean about staying below threshold and how it can help you in trailer loading. So I've parked the trailer about two thirds of the way down the arena. So if you're gonna do something like this, any, any trailer loading you're gonna do, try to, try to put your trailer in the safest place possible. The place where you've got the, the most amount of room to maneuver with your horse should things go wrong. Try not to make it hard on yourself. Um, so I've put this trailer, you know, two thirds of the way down my arena. So it's probably 140 feet from the end. What's that? It's probably about 35 meters, something like that because I want to have the trailer far enough away when I start for this horse to be below threshold. I want him to, be, to tell me when he starts to go above threshold. But I don't, I've got him tied right to the fence here. I don't want that trailer to be any influence on him yet because if it's close enough to where it's influencing him already, I won't see the change to where he goes from being, hey mister, how are you doing? I won't see the change where he goes from being not concerned to slightly concerned. So I'm just gonna walk along here. Notice his ears. Okay, his ears are right here. So he's not looking at that trailer thinking, oh my goodness. Okay, so just watch his ears. And then see right there, he's looking at it. And then he looks over there. So what, what I'm gonna look at here as we approach this trailer is I'm gonna look at the height of his head. Okay, I'm gonna listen to his breathing. If he starts breathing faster, that's gonna tell me that's the threshold. If he head raises up, that's gonna tell me that's the threshold. Come on. Okay, so we're walking along. So far it seems good. Okay, he's got that one ear moving back and forth, so he's not that concerned over here. Right about here, his head just raised up a little bit, but his breathing hasn't increased yet. Right then, he just gulped, and he's snorting. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait here. I'm not going to take him any closer. And I'm looking for some sign of him resetting himself. So I want him to be in the same state he was back there. There we go. See his ears just, you know, his ears kind of got a little bit floppy like that. He came over and said hi to me. So he's not on a state of high alert. So what I'm going to do now is retreat from the trailer. And so if you think about it, I'm going to draw a little line here. There's the, the place where the last time I approached the trailer, he started to go from being, the trailer's not there or it's not concerning me to, oh, it's a slight bit of concern. So I'm watching his ears. Okay, they're not on the trailer yet. They're on the trailer a little bit now. But his head hasn't raised up. His head's still low. And right now, oh, right here, he's, he's a little bit concerned. He's doing a, oh, and now he's curious. So he's investigating. He's sniffing the walls. He's looking at this so right, right now. And, you know, and he's not the best example because this is, um, you know, he acted like he wanted to get in then. But the thing I want you to, oops, sorry, Ringer, talking and not paying attention to you. Sorry there, mister. Um, the thing, the thing I want you to, to be aware of is the fact that I stopped and let him reset when he was starting to get a little bit uptight. And the next time we got to that point, he was no longer getting concerned. So I'm gonna walk along here. He's, he's blowing out, very good. He's looking at the trailer, but he doesn't, he doesn't act like he's getting concerned about the trailer. 
he's approaching the trailer. He doesn't even slow down. I might just step up here and there we go, he's in. Very good. Now that took two times. It might take a hundred times. It, it might take a hundred times, but the thing is just be aware of when they start to go over that threshold. Okay? Uh, doing anything, just be aware when they go when they start to go over that threshold and when they do just back off and it doesn't matter what you're doing if you recognize those little threshold places and what i did with him was when he went over threshold was slightly over threshold which means he's not in a panic state yet he is slightly concerned which means he's not going to run away just stay there give him the idea that you're not going to go any closer to the thing and then when they start to oh it's okay then you can back off and then try it again so i thought that was that was quite easy but the big thing I want you to recognize is the fact he wasn't just perfect at the start he was starting to get a bit concerned about it I waited till he relaxed a little bit hey mister till he re I waited till he relaxed a little bit and then I took him away and then we went again good job Ringer. <laughs>